Welcome to a wonderful brand new episode of the True Delight Chat Show. Well, spring is here, the clocks have sprung back or fallen forward, one or the other, and life's wonderful. Well, apart from the Covid, that is, with its spectacular mismanagement by our Prime Minister and his cabinet of fools and chances. Well, at least we haven't got the highest death rate in the world among larger countries, or the biggest financial hit among the biggest economies. Oh, apparently we have. But all that aside, the most important thing is that the hair salons are open again and we're all dying to get our hair done. Um, perhaps not dying, but you know what I mean. But we've only got five minutes, you know, so it's time to introduce Andrew Hill, world famous international celebrity hairstylist to the stars. Welcome to the Trudy Light Show, Hello. Andrew. Hello, Judy. That's very kind. It's very flattering. I'm not sure I'm well famous, though, but thank you. Don't be so modest, Andrew. Your salon's in Newton Abbott, South Devon, which is internationally recognised as the star capital of the world. Well, it's the nearest South Devon has to Paris and Milan. And we do offer a wide range of luxury services for our upmarket clientele. Yes, 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 that's all fine. But what about the gossip? The gossip? Yes. All those secrets your ladies must share with you. Oh, Trudy, confidentiality is the hairdresser's watchword. Oh, yes, of course. Mine too. I mean, just ask Gwyneth. Her little chlamydia problem is safe with me. Now, what are we going to be doing with your hair? Blow dry? That's not really my sort of thing, Andrew. Oh, sorry, did you say blow dry? Uh, uh, what about some curls, then? I'll leave it up to you. Okay. I'm much more interested in what we're going to be talking about today. Well, the cardinal rule of hairdressing is there, there are three subjects that are off limits. Sex, religion and politics. OK. I made a note of a few things I thought we might discuss. Did you say sex, religion and politics? Yes, that's right. Well, what else is there to talk about? Well, a lot of my clients talk about where they're going on a holiday. Are you planning going anywhere nice? Not me. My whole life is pretty much a holiday and I've still got to be a little bit careful with Interpol. My best friend went off to the West Indies by herself in the end. Jamaica? No, St Lucia. What made you think it was Jamaica? Oh, sorry Trudy, it's a joke. Jamaica or did she want to? Sorry Andrew, she didn't want to go to Jamaica. Are you a little confused? There's no shame in it, you know, not these days. Tell me about what you're most looking forward to doing when life gets back to normal. I suppose those glamorous red carpet events with my friends Holly and Amanda. Well, perhaps not those two don't know how to use Zoom, my ass. And I'll be visiting the petting zoo, animal sanctuaries, wildlife parks. You really do like animals, don't you, Trudy? I hope you're not implying anything, Andrew. No, 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 sorry. Those no. malicious rumours in the press are all lies, you know. Just because a girl likes to spend some time alone with her hamster doesn't mean... But hang on. We've only got five minutes, you know, and I'm supposed to be interviewing you. So how did you occupy your time when you weren't able to open your salon? Well, it was a great opportunity for me, Trudy, with all the, that time on my hands. I caught up with all the back issues of the Hairdresser's Journal, Hair Infections Weekly, Scurf Monthly. I became a bit of an expert on the football pools, you know, any six from ten, that sort of thing. Football pools? Yes, it turns out I misunderstood what Perm magazine was. But what about you, Trudy? 
Well, I spent a lot of time on social media. That's dangerous. Yes, that's true. Actually, I got a call from a lovely little charity asking me if I needed any help with internet bullying and trolling. And what did you say? I told them I didn't need any help. I'm pretty good at it already. Now, sex, religion and politics. Sorry, Trudy. If you want to talk about those sort of things, I'm going to have to start cutting it short. <coughs> Are we out of time? No, that's the bad hairdressing joke alarm. As you can tell, we have it on the least sensitive setting. But I think we've all learned something today, especially you, Andrew. You really must try to avoid talking about sex, religion and politics all the time. Thanks for watching and remember, keep it light.